on Tech It Out, we often bring you stories of innovators who have gone to great lengths to turn their dreams into reality. Up next, we bring you another such inspiring story. Meet an inventor from Jordan who never quit his dream of flying. Meet Jordanian Mohammed Malhas. As a boy, he harbored dreams of becoming a pilot. But circumstances did not allow him to pursue his childhood ambition. Instead, Malhas graduated in hospital management from a London university and went to work with his father at the Amman Hospital. However, he kept his dreams alive. He devoured books on aviation and aircraft engineering. He was hooked to guides about learning how to fly. He even joined the Royal Jordanian Air Academy to take flying lessons in a small Piper aircraft. Eventually, he obtained his license. For almost a decade, he was a member of the Jordanian Gliding Club, taking to the skies every weekend. And by 2006, he was flying virtually thanks to flight software he downloaded on his computer. Now retired, his lifelong passion has taken a new spin. At the age of 76, he's soaring above the clouds in a cockpit, that too from his basement. This flight simulator is a replica of the cockpit of a Boeing 737-800. Mal has spent three years building it from scrap and second-hand items. All the parts were bought at local markets. The chairs were originally part of a bus. The screen show pictures of clouds and sky above, rivers and forests and deserts below. He can even choose what the weather outside is like. His friends, who are electronic engineers, helped him in creating it. The home-built flight simulator is a labor of love. It took three years to complete. And how much did it cost him? Around $8,400. For Malhas, it is worth every penny spent. A small price to pay to have his dream come true.